Oh my. There is not much gear oil in there. Hey guys, it's Handy Jeff here, and today we are changing the lower unit oil in this Mercury 60 horse outboard EFI motor. And this is something you definitely should do. It's a regular maintenance topic on your boat. I do this annually because I don't use my boat that often. Although this video is for this 60 horse Mercury outboard, it's pretty much the same on any outboard. So if you have an outboard motor, this should probably work for you too. To change this, it's fairly easy. All we are going to need is a screwdriver with a large straight or flat tip head, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using this Milwaukee screwdriver and I did a video on why this is important to have in your household. You also will need a gear lube kit. This particular one is for a Mercury outboard. I will leave a link to this in the description. It's from Amazon and I actually get a commission if you order from there at no extra cost to you and it helps support the channel. I would appreciate it if you did that. You will also need something to catch your oil in. This particular oil catch can is available on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. It's super handy to have, so that's why I enjoy having it. All right, so if your motor is not already, make sure you trim it all the way down so that it is vertical. So that way you have a place for all your lubrication to go down into the gear casing. Then we are going to remove the fent plug, which is this little guy right here. Take it all the way out. Make sure we don't lose it. There's a seal included with that. And then set it to the side. I'm going to remove this fill plug as well. Go ahead and set it to the side. Now the seal, as you can see, stayed in there on that particular one. All right, I had to move you to a much smaller tripod. So right here, as you can see, there's another screw hole. That is to drain your oil. So go ahead, break this puppy loose. It's kind of at an angle. And you're going to have gear oil that comes out after this. So make sure you've got your catch can ready. All right. And when you're ready to remove it, make sure you've got your catch can ready. Oh my. There is not much gear oil in there. It's a good thing that I'm changing it. In case you didn't know, and you haven't been following my series, I bought this boat at auction, so we didn't know if there was going to be anything in it or not. However, on a normal motor, there's going to be plenty of gear oil in here that's going to be draining out. And now, we are filling it back up with this gear oil. This is a kit. It comes with a pump and everything. If you need this, it's down below in the description. So first things first, go ahead, open your kit up. It's going to come with gear lube and then a pump with the nozzle and a straw. So we'll take the straw, go ahead and shove it down in here like that. Now, go ahead and take your old seals. If you've got new ones, like if you are following the video where I changed the entire pump and peller, your kit will come with new seals. So go ahead, remove all the seals. Look up in here. You can tell that some of these seals are still stuck in here. So we just want to get them out. We are then going to take our new seals, put them on our screws. They fit together just like that. I'm going to start by putting this one down where the drain plug is. And you might need to just use your screwdriver to get it started. Perfect. Then you want to go ahead and replace your seals because you're going to want to be ready to put these bad boys on fairly quickly. We're going to take our gear oil, go ahead and open it up, stick our pump down into our gear oil. If you didn't, tighten this drain plug. Try tighten it right now. You want it so that it's going to hold. And then you can see here, which this lighting's so bad and I forgot my flashlight today, so I apologize, but there's a label right here that's vent on the left one. So there's another side, other side right here where we're going to be able to just thread this plug into. So go ahead, thread your plug in. Start in a position where you're not going to tighten it too much and kink your hose like crazy but we're gonna tighten that. All right, now for the fun part. 
we've got this set up and we're just going to pump and you're going to feel it getting heavy in there and this is just going to force the oil into the lower unit now we're going to keep pumping until it starts to force gear lube out of the vent that we've got so we want to stand by ready with our plug in hand and your screwdriver and we're going to go ahead fill this bad boy all the way up until it starts leaking as you can see it's starting to leak give it a good pump put that plug in there and tighten her down that's how you know it's full now we've got our next plug ready and we're going to go ahead and unscrew this and you're probably going to have some that's going to pop out and that's okay because then we're just going to put this plug in and use your screwdriver and go ahead and tighten it down guys that's exactly how you change your gear oil in your lower unit of a 60 horsepower mercury now most outboards are going to be just like that if you need to know how to change your impeller click right here because that video is right there thank you so much for watching handy jeff out